Hello friends, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this class, we are again going to discuss about jQuery selector. In our last two classes, we have uh, discussed about many selector. Uh, so in this class, uh, we are just going to discuss about one more selector, which is very important. So you can just say here jQuery this selector. So we are uh, just going to discuss about this. This is a very important selector. So you need to just remove all this from body area and uh, just remove this from script tag also and uh, just come here save this go to run menu and launch in chrome uh, nothing just there is this one is empty so at first uh, we are creating going to create a menu after creating the menu uh, or some links uh, we are just going to discuss about uh, this selector so inside the body i'm just going to insert a ul ul start ul close then li start li close here for example home home page this one is home page control d just some more time you can say this one is just uh, web designing this one is just uh, web developing you can say and this one is you can say graphic designing and this one you can say something contact us contact us and this one you can say about us so we have uh, just five links here control s to save go to your web page and refresh so you can see we have the links here and you can just come here to remove these blurs for removing these blurs you need to just come inside your css first you have li inside the li we have uh, first we have ul sorry inside the ul we have li and open curly braces you can just focus here first we have ul and inside the ul we have li here also first ul and then li so you can uh, you can say here list dash style you can set the value none and this attribute will remove these blurs you can see uh, for route uh, right now it's located uh, vertically so you we need them horizontally so you can say float float you can say left float left uh, so you can see the links are uh, just looking like uh, they are much uh, you need to just uh, make them separate by giving some space so you can use some margin here something like uh, 25 pixel of margin I'm using here and refresh so this is the margin and you can use uh, pairing also if you want pairing something like 8 pixel of pairing and refresh so this is the pairing you need to give a background color for this background uh, you can say something like uh, which color light light and green light green color you can save this and refresh so you can see this is just uh, light green and you can use some shadow for this box shadow box dash shadow you can say zero pixel then zero pixel by just uh, 12 pixel of uh, just blur and the color of shadow should be gray now you can save and refresh so this is the shadow color so when you are moving your mouse cursor on this uh, links or menu uh, if you want to see the hand option so you can just set that here you can set cursor value should be pointer you can save this come here and refresh now you can see the hand option so 
now we are just going to use some jquery just come inside this insert a dollar sign and round bracket again dot again round bracket again semicolon so inside the first one you are going to use a single quotation just select the li directly and you are just saying when someone click on this li cli ck so the function should be run and inside the curly braces you are just uh, coming back and insert a dollar sign round bracket and another round bracket semicolon so again inside single quotation you are going to select li and you are just uh, using here any met effect here or event so inside just uh, the curly braces you are just going to say from the top it should come down 50 pixel just like this you can save this and here inside uh, the ULLI you need to use one more property this is called uh, position position you can say relative whenever you are using uh, or creating any animation or any CSS animation in any kind of animation you must uh, use this attribute position relative control s to save come here and refresh now click on this you can see 50 pixel is coming uh, just down from the top as we given here 50 pixel uh, top from top 50 pixel you can give uh, just 100 pixel save and come here refresh click on this you can see 100 pixel it's just coming down and you can just uh, use any pixel you want you can use here I'm just giving 50 pixel save this and refresh click on this so this 50 pixel so one more thing uh, you can just focus here when we are clicking on this uh, so all of them is just uh, just coming down or moving down so I want uh, I'm just clicking on home page so only the home page should move down if I'm clicking on web developing so the web developing should move down for example if I'm just uh, clicking on contact as the context as should come down so on that case we are using this this selector as I told this it is very important you can just write here this it means this this means uh, you are clicking on this one this one just save this and come here refresh so on which of them you are going to click so I'm just clicking on this the first one I'm just clicking on this on this you can see or you want just click on this any of them you can click it will just move down by using this attribute or uh, this selector you can just uh, make this optional which of uh, the menu should move down you can see like this so I think uh, uh, you are understand how we can use this selector so this was the just uh, the usage that I told you so you can use this uh, in different way in different places for different purpose so in this class we are going to end the topic about selector so in next class we will come back so till next class you need to just to watch uh, the previous video the previous class video watch again and again and do a lot of practice have a nice time and see you